All right, just about to take off with my dad. Headed to the Fairfield Card Show. This is the best and the biggest card show in Northern California. Usually happens a couple of times a year. 350 tables. I am super excited for this. Again, riding down with my dad. It's about an hour from here, so we're gonna go ahead and head on down towards the Bay Area and see what we can find. All right, so in I go to this massive card show that I am so excited for. I got there right when it opened and I got right to digging. And this particular dealer I had never seen at other shows before. And right off the bat, I see some 1982 vintage wrestling cards. Now, as a kid, the Junkyard Dog was one of my guys. You'll see some other names in here you might recognize. And this is a set that has a few cards that are pretty valuable. Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, or Ric Flair. Um, and then... These are kind of the other guys in the set that aren't those biggest names. But that Junkyard Dog card really caught my eye. I thought that was pretty cool. And this particular box was really mixed with everything from vintage stuff to super modern stuff. You got a cool 68 Seaver there. Then you got... Clemente, you got a little everything new to old in this box. I always wanted a Charles Barkley rookie card. That one was too off center for me. It was probably a little too high priced as well. There's another Clemente. And that 69 Clemente. It's asking 160. But that thing looked really, really nice in a 6.5 SGC slab. I just kept looking through again. It's crazy when you, you find a box like this and you could literally have a Kobe Bryant rookie sandwiched between a couple of Clemente cards. That doesn't happen every day. Most of it was modern. My dad came up to me. He was he had his eye on a 68 mantle. You can hear me talking to him. That he was super interested in. Then I go to this box. It has tons and tons of modern stuff. And then it's just got a handful of T206s. So I look these over. And then sandwiched in between is a Bo Jackson card is again kind of funny but then there's more T206s now he's a hall of famer but that's still a little too rough for a hundred bucks for me and then you saw Mike Trout rookie card in there too got some cool stuff in this case you can see that 1960 tops Mickey Mantle had a Willie Mays autograph ball Got some cool early to late 60s in there. Got those two Bob Gibson, 1960 Bob Gibsons were sweet. Pretty off center on that Nolan Ryan up at the top. A Robin Yount rookie card. Juan Marichal rookie card. Couple 59s, a Mantle and a Snyder. And then you can see that second year Ernie Banks peeking at you up at the top there. But that 60 Bob Gibson was the one that I was most drawn towards. And I just I said, I got to go back and look at that Clemente, that 1969 Clemente that I saw in the 6.5. I comped it out, couldn't find any 6.5s, but I found a couple of 6s. And the sixes were grading in the one, or was were selling for in the 120s, like 125 for a six. And those weren't particularly well centered. And this one's like perfectly centered, and it's a 6.5. I 
So I kind of have that comp of middle 120s to 130-ish. This in a 6.5 and centered. I'm thinking it's probably a $135, $140 card. So I pull it out. I was looking through it a little bit more. I'm still also thinking about that wrestling card of the Junkyard Dog. I had a little Junkyard Dog figurine as a kid, which was I always used to play with. He, he, was, he was pretty cool. So I decided, you know, I think I'm just going to ask that the dealer what he could do on this card. Do you have much room on that card right there? Um, I can look. Probably not I, much. I but comped it out and yeah. it was like 120s. Oh, yeah. I don't deny comp. So let me confirm that and then we'll, okay. we'll talk. Yep. So you're looking at the 6. And oh, these wrestling... Five. These 6.5? Uh, no. Well, uh, I looked on um, Market Movers. Got it. Which has a longer history. Okay. I think it was in July, but we could look. These wrestling cards, where'd yeah. you get those things? I bought a collection from a guy, he had the complete set. So the better ones I graded and they're in here. Um, and then the rest, not quite the rest, people have been picking it over. But yeah, yeah this, for really whatever cool. reason, this guy was like... Yeah, I know. I'm surprised his value wasn't higher. Yeah. The, so they, they came back like five range, huh? So yeah, it kind of gives you an idea what the rest of them probably are. Surprise me. The Hogan has a little ding, and then Andre's got a scratch on the chest. The rest look closer to sixes, um, but you know that's just me. Yeah, I'll do a hundred on that. You do a hundred? Yeah. Uh, what if I threw that in? Not much off of him. I'd do like 115. Okay, yeah. let's do 115. Okay, cool. right. Appreciate Sounds it. Good. Thanks. Yeah. Is it cash? Yeah, Perfect. cash. So I, I'm absolutely thrilled with this deal. You got it. Right. The 15 on the Junkyard Dog and 100 on that. 15. Clemente, you saw some of the comps. But a lot of those comps are pretty old. Thank you. That I flashed on the screen a second ago. Have a good one. You too. But, uh, I mean, that the eye appeal on that 69 Clemente had me absolutely thrilled. This is literally one of the first tables I went to. So here's the Junkyard Dog card. And, you know, in a six, this thing sells for 50 or 60 bucks. Raw, it sells for 40 to 50 or so. And I think it looks pretty nice, actually. There's a little bit of printer marks on it. But other than that, I, I think it could possibly get a 7. So you can see some raw comps and comps in 5 and 6. But here's that Clemente in a 6.5. I really like the looks of this card. You can see the corners are pretty sharp. The centering is like absolutely perfect. And any time you can pick up a Clemente, you're doing well. And, and literally, this was like the fourth table I went to at a 350-table show. But I couldn't move on without at least seeing what I could get. When he said 100, I almost did a cartwheel. There are some sixes and seven comps. So, pretty good deal to get us going. Now, this guy, Las Vegas Cardstock, unbelievable cases. Check out these cases. Look at all of those Michael Jordan rookie cards. And then he's got a ton of Michael Jordan autographs. I mean, just this case. I mean, it had to be had to be over a hundred thousand dollar case. I mean, well over a hundred thousand. And then you come over here and he's got three bird magics and some really high grades. He had one's a nine. Look at those. You've got some Kareem autographs, and I mean, this. There are about three or four different dealers that had cases at this table that were at least a hundred thousand dollar cases. This is just one of them. And look at some of his other, his other stuff. He's got Clemente rookies, Jackie Robinsons. Keep on moving up, and it's just like. 
everything from modern to vintage. Got a 57 mantle over there. Look at this. The DiMaggio Jackie Robinson and Roberto Clemente autograph. Wow. Unreal table. Unreal cases. Got some curries in there. And those curries are really expensive. I talked to this dealer for a minute and I I asked him if I could film all this stuff because I don't know, it was unbelievable. Alright, so then I went over and I found this table and he had a binder and all the cards were a dollar. Now I love Stanford. My great grandpa went to Stanford. Cool Richard Sherman card. I was like, that's cool for a buck. I'll throw that in my PC. He he played with the Niners for a few years. But I pulled some crazy stuff out of here. A Hunter Henry uh, rookie autograph for a dollar. Um, a few a few former Alabama players autograph rookies for a dollar. I mean, it was kind of nuts. I mean, I, I could have bought a lot more than I did. But I just kind of kept on flipping through here and... And, I mean, a lot of these were numbered cards and stuff. And, and I don't buy a ton of modern stuff. But if there's a cool card that, you know, I, I really probably should have bought more than I did. Um, but, I mean, you can see every one of these cards is a dollar. And, and I'm having a hard time not plucking out a bunch of them. Now, a lot of these guys may be washed out, but they're worth more than a dollar. Because, you know, even just college fans would buy all the Ohio State guys, if you're an Ohio State fan. or And that's why I bought a couple of the Alabama guys. And I thought this was a cool card. This is a Clay Matthews contender's card. It's numbered out of uh, 49, I think. I mean, he had a pretty awesome career. I was like, you know, a buck for a numbered you know, card, I'll, I'll do that. And then here's an Eric Davis rookie card. I bought in a couple of those. It shows in quarter boxes, or I would have bought that. And this 86 Fleer Nolan Ryan is like perfectly centered. It looks beautiful. So I'm like, sure, a dollar. You got to buy the Nolan Ryan for a dollar. Thought about that Matt- Mattingly card in the middle, but didn't. I'm like, okay, got a Gary Sheffield Upper Deck Rookie, perfectly centered. There's two of them. This one's really well centered. I don't have that in my PC. I'm like, sure, I'll grab that for a buck. (laughs) It's kind of crazy if you're willing to dig at shows. The stuff stuff that you end up finding is kind of amazing. So I just kept on flipping through the pages. You'll see I grab a couple more cards here in just a second. Again, more autographs. It's like, I don't know. I, I, I probably should have bought more than I did, but um, I mean, when they're a buck a piece. And then he has some, he had a few older cards toward the back. I mean, I considered that Tony Dorsett right there, but for some reason didn't grab it. And, you know, this is obviously someone's PC. There's a Mike Greenwell. Which brings me back to about 1989 or 88. Benito Santiago rated rookie. <laughs> this is like a time capsule here. All these Daryl Greens. I'm like, I should have probably gotten a couple of those. Like, Those are worth more than a dollar. Lawrence Taylor. And then I'm like, wait, that's an Eric Dickerson rookie for a dollar? Okay. I'll buy an Eric Dickerson rookie for a dollar, especially because he signs through the mail uh, for ten bucks. If you send him your card and ten bucks, he'll autograph it. So I'll buy his rookie for a dollar and do that. That was an easy decision. So I kept on looking to see if there's any last things I wanted to grab. This dealer was a super nice guy. 
I ended up grabbing nine cards in total. Um, almost did more. I mean, you got a Saquon Barkley on the next page. You can see right there. Hard time passing that up. But then I'm like, well, there's a Jimmy Garoppolo die cut numbered. And I'm like, uh, I mean, he was the Niner quarterback for a few years, and I'm a Niner fan. It's a dollar. I mean, it's probably not worth more than a dollar or two, but still, I got to get it. So that kind of took me through the binder. So then, again, I think I ended up with nine of them. But then I hadn't even looked in his cases yet. So I walk over to his cases to see if there was anything in there that I wanted. Because he had a lot of, like, my childhood type cards. So who knows what's in his cases. You can see the other cards I grabbed there that I flipped through. I mean, he was a stud defender, Jonathan Allen. And I look through the cases. Empty case liquidation, huh? Yeah. He's selling a bunch of old empty cases and talking to him about. And I'm looking in the case, and I noticed that he had a Frank Thomas, a pile of Frank Thomas um, score rookie cards, which I've always loved to look at that card. And he had two bucks on those, which they're not. I mean, that's probably what they're worth is two bucks. And now he's telling me he's going to give me sleeves and top loaders for all these cards. all the same cards? Yes. I almost felt bad. So, um, I have nine here. If you threw in the Thomas, could we just do flat ten? That's fine. Would that be cool? That'd be cool. Awesome. But you don't have to give me top loaders. Yeah, and he was asking two on the Thomas. And so I grabbed nine cards plus the two dollar Thomas. He did it for ten. And then he gave me nine top loaders and sleeves with it, too. So. I grabbed one that looked I mean, good to me. Okay. Didn't have to be perfect. I mean, this is just a card, childhood, you know, card that'll go into my PC. And then I went over to my buddy Craig's table. Craig has always got great stuff. And if you see anything you like here, I tried to, on some of these big cases, share the contact information, which I'll be displaying for you for some of these dealers if you want to reach out to them. Craig's got good prices he's got good cards he's a good guy so i'm looking at all these mazes and i'm I'm like oh my gosh i'd love to have a lot of these got the mccovey rookies at the top if you see any of these that you like you can always pause and zoom in and you can see him he's got a bunch of mantles got a 1960 mantle all-star which looked really nice for a four 58 mantle, 59 mantle, 57 mantle. Got that manager's dream there with maze and mantle in the middle. Man, he had some really good stuff at this show. So, again, if you see anything you want, reach out to Craig. Just say, hey, I saw you on Greg Miller's video, Midlife Cards, and he'll take care of you. I know some people have done that before. But, again, a good guy. So now I'm, I'm starting to ask him and to look closer at a handful of things. So you'll see here in a second. So there's a couple of 1969 Nolan Ryans that looked pretty sweet. And look at this Reggie Jackson. Now this is my favorite Reggie Jackson card. It's a six. He just picked it up. It, it looks like an eight to me. I think his price might be a little high, but he usually has a little bit of room. And then you got the second year Nolan Ryans. They both are pretty well centered. This is a tough card to find centered. They're both fours. And he's asking 280, which is certainly reasonable. So I'm looking these over real good. But I'm just getting started. There's a whole bunch of stuff I look at. So whenever I find Craig's table, I'll spend some time here. So we had some low-grade 53s. I love that Eddie Matthews. There's the Feller. I picked up one of those a couple of weeks ago. Love the Monty Irvin. I mean, these are these are some beautiful cards. They're obviously touched up around the corners, and but I mean, really nice-looking cards. So none of those really 
fit my eye quite like I would need them to be. But there was a lot more in the case I asked him to pull out so I could take a closer look at them. So this 62 maze. Now whenever he has a card that's super nice, you see the dot on the sticker? That's his way of saying, I'm not going to come down much because this card is really sweet. This card is worth over full comp. That's what he's saying. And so if you look here, we've got, look at the 71 Hank Aaron. That thing is beautiful. And then we got this 63. You got a 63 Willie Mays, really well centered. And this is a brutal card for centering purposes. That one's got a dot too. So that means he doesn't have a lot of room in his price. And he's usually pretty high comp. But then check this out, a 58 All-Star with him. It's got a little bit of wax on the back. You can kind of see a little bit of wax I just pointed to. But look at how look at how well centered that is. That should have gotten a dot. That I'm teasing him that that one didn't get a dot, and it should have because it's so sweet. So he's he's showing me why he didn't think it was dot worthy for him. But yeah, the the little bit of the wax on the back or the print mark. I'm not sure if that was a print mark or wax, but it's a really nice card, and it was a five. And don't worry, I got. I got even more that I'm going to be looking at in his case. Part of me wishes I hadn't bought more from him, or I, I wish I had bought more from him. And you'll see, we've got a deal coming up here with with several cards. So again, he's always got big names. He's mostly PSA only. He sends a lot of stuff to PSA. And a lot of these are recent grades that he recently got back. So they're really nice for the grade. And he's got all those mantles in that case with all those gouties. So he's showing me he's showing me a 57 mantle that seems... We're talking about how it should have been graded higher. Got a three. But, I mean, I don't know how that card's a three. There's no crease. It's a little off-center on the back. Other than that, but you can see it's a dot for him. That is a beautiful card just off-center on the back. So this card, the Manager's Dream card, it's got mantle and maze, and it is a four, but it is gorgeous. It's the nicest four I've ever seen in my life. I honestly look yeah. at this card, and if you truly believe in buying the card, not the grade, this is a seven. This is a seven card. And my he's telling me how he was thinking about sending it to regrade it. And and then I turn to my dad. I'm like, Dad, you got to buy this card. You got to buy this card, Dad. So I just that was a gorgeous card. So my dad's taking a look at it. And he, he told us right there on that one he would go down 20 bucks. So he would take 180 for that manager's dream card. And then I'm looking at this mantle. This mantle's a four. This mantle's a, How is this mantle a four? This thing is sweet. 1960 mantle all-star. He's asking 220 which is a good price to begin with. And he's got this 63 mantle. Now I'm falling in love with too many cards. So now we got a problem because we're way outside of my budget right now. But I've been selling a lot of stuff. And I'll talk more about that soon. But I've been selling some stuff. And then there's a 66 mantle in a 5. He's asking 370. And, oh man, there's so many cards I'm drooling over right now. I love Yogi, I love Mantle. The two of them on the card together is just such a sweet card. It is expensive from the 57 set. But man, that look card looks great too, right? All right, so. So my wheels are turning. I'm trying to figure out what do I want to do here? What, what are the better deals? All right, Craig, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to. 
My brain, my wheels are turning. You can hear me talking to him. I know that you're always good to us, so I'm going to put these back for right now, and I'm going to come back in a little bit. Okay. But I basically was overloaded at that point. And I felt like I had to do something. Okay, he's already got the cash. Hold on, let me get this deal on. Uh So my dad, before we walked away, the manager's dream for 180. My dad buys that manager's dream card. That's a sweet card. I mean, that's about what it comps at for a four. You can see here. Craig is right here. But this is literally the nicest four on the on earth. And putting his stuff on there. So this guy. So remember I was telling you earlier about some amazing cases. Here's another amazing couple of cases. So there's the dealer's info, IROC Collectibles. He's out of the Bay Area in Northern California. And he's got triple logo mans, double logo mans. I mean, this is kind of Michael Jordan autographs. I mean, we, we're talking about crazy stuff. Curry rookie autos. Montana autographs, Griffey autographs, Jeter rookies, Bill Russell autographs. Look at this. He had multiple Bill Russell autographs. Another Jordan autograph. This, These couple of cases, and, and he had about five of them. I'll show you more in a sec. Were insane. Then you look here. This card was unbelievable. It was signed by Bird, Magic, Dr. J, and Bill Russell. Unbelievable card. Unbelievable stuff at this table. Pete Samper, Sampras Auto. I mean, look at all these Herbert rookie autos, Pele Auto. Okay. And then probably these. So and this guy. Would be my most you got it. This guy had just made a submission to PSA and gotten a bunch of stuff back. So these are brand new fresh grades from PSA. You can see the 71 Nolan Ryan in the X condition, but it was at least that grade. I mean, he got hammered by PSA because these cards are, are really sweet. They're all early 70s. You got the rows. Now we're looking at got the 71s and the 72s and the 73s and looking at these 73s here and man they are nice. You got a Schmidt rookie there. I've always liked that Hank Aaron card for some reason. It's got a Brooks Robinson who we lost recently. Man. These were really, really sharp. Now, he's asking a good amount, but he kept he told me like five times, I'll work with you. <laughs> so, you got another Pete Rose. So, now we're getting more, more into the middle and then late 70s okay. in this box. So, now we're into the 75s here. It's a pretty nice 75 Reggie Jackson and Joe Morgan. And then look at who's on the top right here, my guy. Greg Nettles in a six for ten bucks. I have it, but I still almost bought it. <laughs> got a shrimps, got a second year. Brett. And again, and and so we're in the point now where I don't know what PSA is doing to people, but I'm looking at these cards and, and I just felt like he just got absolutely hammered. Which from a buyer's perspective, I'm sitting there going, hmm, I can get some sweet cards here that are undergraded for the price that the grade is instead of the price of how nice the card is. We got a third year Brett. We're now in the 77s. That's a pretty nice Nolan Ryan. And, I mean, if you were into the early 70s and late 70s, this guy was your guy. All these fresh grades from PSA. I did not get his contact information, unfortunately. So if you're seeing this and you wanted to reach out, I don't know who to connect you with. I tried to do that, but 
I did forget with this particular dealer. And now we're all the way into 78s. There's a couple of nice 78 Nolan Ryans in here. I mean, that's in a 7. It was a pretty sweet card for a 7. He said he submitted a ton of cards and only got, I think, two nines. But a lot of these were like pack fresh. That one caught my eye. That's a really well centered Eddie Murray rookie. He's asking 80, which is a little above what that card goes for, not much. And that well centered, I mean, it was a seven, but it looked like a nine to me. I almost made an offer. In fact, I meant to go back and make an offer on that card. And then I totally forgot. Here he's telling me about how he got two nines in this huge submission he did. And uh, just really got hammered. And the whole time as I'm looking at these cool cards, I'm thinking to myself, well, man, I, sh I need to get back over to Craig's table because I don't want him to sell a couple of the cards that I'm really really interested in so now we're now we're in the 79s you can see that one got a miscut because of the back and then an 80 and a 7 and a 7 from PSA nowadays is a really nice card so yeah I'm talking to this guy and I'm I, I like a lot of these cards and I kind of want to buy a couple of these cards but I'm I'm thinking, you know, I really need, I really need to head back over to Craig's table soon and, and make a buy. But then I stopped and I saw that. Look at this case, Jordan 9.5, Jordan Star rookies, autographs of cut autographs of Mantle and, I mean, Wilt Chamberlain autograph card, and unbelievable. Right, so I went so back over to Craig. It's a big show. I didn't expect to see you until like seven. So now he's teasing me that I came back so fast. A lot of that stuff is walk by though. Yeah. Okay, so the three I'm most interested in okay. are the mantle. If you want to pull that one out, I'm gonna take another look at that. Sure. And then this '66 mantle. You go ahead. Yeah. And then the '58 All Star Maze. Okay. So these were the cards I thought. I thought this was already a good price. 220 for this card seemed like too low. It's a really nice four. I, I feel like it comps above 220, and that's his asking. And then I'm obviously going to try to negotiate him down a little. So this card, I'm like, okay, I'm definitely getting that card. And then this is the nicest looking five I've seen in a while. It's the 58 all-star maze really well centered the only issue are those couple of little it looks like a wax mark or a print mark on the back so i'm definitely like i'm getting those two cards so then i give this mantle a really good look over and, and it's nice it's it's really nice but compared to the maze five that i just looked at and to be honest with you i almost feel like the four of the 60 all-star is a little nicer than this card. So my dad walks up next to me, and, and he's standing there. So I, I'm kind of starting to sour on this one a little bit because it's not quite as nice as I was thinking it was. So I end up handing it over to my dad here in a second and asking him for his set of eyes on it. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking maybe right, I'll go a different so this direction. this one, I'm going to pass on. These two I'm interested in. Um, and a nine on top of that. That stuff has always bent off-center. Let me take a look at those two as well. Yeah. So now I'm thinking, okay, the 63 Maze and the 62 Maze are both sweet. He's got some odd-looking cards, but these two of his I like a lot. And the 63 set is brutally tough. His price is pretty pretty high on this, if I'm being honest. It's one of his pen mark cards, meaning he, he made the little dot on there, meaning I'm not going to move much. And it's, it's a little high. 
but it's gorgeous for a five. And it's a 63, which are brutal, and it's Willie Mays. And then the 62, same, exact same thing. Really well centered. It's got the dots, so he's not going to move much. Price is a little high, but I really think I want the 63. Let's just start with these two. And we can do it where you give me a number or I give you a number. Uh, I mean, we've known each other for a while, so I kind of trust that we can just be cool. But what is what would your best be on those two? Let's see. You always have a great eye. You always pick great stuff, of course. So you're, now you're just being nice to no, me. <laughs> let's see. So he's also trying to keep the price right. Let's see. No, he's, tra <laughs> he's trying to keep the right higher. He's talking about how great they are, yeah, which yeah. I don't blame him. You have such yeah. a good eye. I think, of course, yeah. I, I'm going to have to charge a lot. Yeah, so stickers the sticker, so. the sticker is is three seventy on the two cards. We misspoke there. So it's three seventy on the sticker for the two cards. But I know VIP friends and family better. Right. So so it's sticker it's sticker two seventy. Right. Let's do our three seventy. We're saying two seventy. Three seventy. It's three seventy. Friends and family discount. So he offers me fifty dollars off, which. Is, uh, is, they were already pretty fairly priced, so I'm pretty is happy that with offer that. Offer is that your best? I, I think that's pretty close to best. Let me let me check really quick, but I think that's. What if what if we threw that in? What would we get to? Now I know that has less room. Yeah. So you, you so, said three twenty. Is that what you said? Three twenty. Okay. And so uh, if we threw that one in, you you would do. You said ten percent off is your best, right? So two seventy. Yeah. See, 320 and 270. 590. Yeah. 590 is your number for these. So the 370, 320, and then this was 300. So 670 times 90% is 603. 90% of your sticker? Of the, of the total. Of the sticker is 603. But isn't 10% standard? <laughs> Yeah, that's why you got more. So, so I'm giving him a hard time here. So 90% is 333, but I went to 320. Right. Right? So I did 320. I did better. This is 10 How about I do your number here, but instead of 320, we do 300. So it's 270 and 300 instead of 270 and 320. So you knock off 20 more for me. How about 580? So I came back with 310 yep. and 270. Oh, I see. All right, let's do it. Thank you, man. Yep. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, too. Super right. happy Those with this some deal. Sweet cards. I paid up for the 63 Mays for sure. Um, that's full comp, but I don't have to pay shipping and I don't have to pay sales tax. And in California, it's about 10%. So buying it at a show, I saved a lot of money. But check out my 58 tops. All-Star Willie Mays. I don't know how this is only a five. Again, the little print marks. A couple of little print marks there at the top of the card. Maybe a little wax. But my goodness, this is a gorgeous card. So, thrilled with that one. Now, the comps on it are like 180 to 190. I got it for way under that. And then the maze, 63, is a 5. And again, I ended up paying 270 on that, which is, which is strong. But I wanted it, and I don't have to pay tax or shipping. So, And it's a really well-centered one. A lot of these are not well-centered. So when you're looking at comps, a lot of the times when they get a 5, it's because the centering is bad. But centering is pretty important to me. And this one is really well centered all the way around the card. So I am really happy with this card. You can see the comps are a little below what I paid. But again, I'm totally cool with that. And then the maze. I'm sorry, the mantle. The mantle all-star, 60 all-star, and a four. I don't know how they got a four. I think it's beautiful. It's well centered. The corners are nice. I mean... 
really like that car. It's a little OC on the back, but again, back centering matters like almost not at all to me. So, um, super happy with this card. And, you know, I got it for quite a bit off of his price. So thrilled with this one. And the recent comps on it are like 260 to 300 and something. Thrilled with those purchases. So then I head over to these guys. These guys are out of Reno. That's their contact information. If you see anything you like. And they had a lot of good stuff. Got the 53 Mantle and Jackie Robinson. You know I love that 52 Spawn up there. The Christy Mathewson T205. I love that card. Got some cool 59s and 60s and 61s. Got the 63 Fleers. You got the Clemente 68 there. He got a Lou Alcindor rookie. Got some Mantle, 68 Mantles up there. And then he's got a bunch of raw stuff too. You hear him ask me asking him right here about yeah. going raw. He basically said that he likes to have about half of his inventory graded and half of it ungraded. Right. And he's got a wide variety of stuff. A lot of cool 69s that Ryan, Mantle, Clemente, George sure. Brett rookie. It's some really good stuff. Again, you can see his Instagram up at the top on that little sticker. Now, I've seen these guys a couple of times before. I don't know them as well, but... And I've actually never bought from them before. But they've got a lot of good vintage stuff. And again, they're out of Reno, Nevada. Which is a couple of hours from where we're at at this point. Well, three hours probably from Fairfield, where this card show's taking place. Cool 61 mantle there on the left. Orlando Cepeda was signing. His rookie card there was on the right. I, I, I really considered getting a Cepeda rookie card autographed. He was charging 40 bucks for his autograph, which seemed very reasonable. And then I headed over to this guy. Super nice guy. Indo Sports Cards. That's his Instagram information. He has some great vintage football cards. Cool Unitas rookie, Bart Star rookie, had some nice mantles. My dad had actually ended up buying a 68 mantle from him. Not that one. But he did buy a 68 mantle from this dealer. And he was a really nice guy. Look at that 68 maze and a nine. You don't see you don't see nines in 68 mazes very often. He had a wide variety of stuff. That was kind of his vintage case. And then over to more of his modern stuff. Again, a super nice guy. First time we had ever met him. And uh, had a good time chatting with him for a few minutes. And man, yes, I blew my budget out of the water. But you know what? It's not every day you have a 350 table card show. So when you have one, you got to buy.